wanted to show you the radio transmitter that we're going to be uh, using in our exercise because you're never actually going to see it because we're taking bearings on it and it's going to be hidden from you. So um, I just wanted to, to show you this transmitter. The transmitter we're going to use is a pretty large transmitter as you can see. Um, here's the antenna, flip antenna coming out the top. And so compared to my hands, which are pretty big in the first place, um, this is a this is a large transmitter. And these are actually used in large fish like pallid sturgeon um, or uh, paddlefish to they insert them surgically into the uh, body cavity of the fish and then um, this uh, this goes outside the body um, and the the sutures keep the transmitter inside the body while the while the antenna trails along the side of the fish uh, so they're actually used for a real animal in the wild I got these because they have a because of their size they have a massive battery okay and they stay uh, that, that battery will last for a long, long time. Um, I think this battery, if we didn't do anything to it, has somewhere in like a three-year battery life um, just going constantly. So uh, for our short use in class, we can use this for several years. If we just use a little teeny songbird radio, like some of the ones that I use in my research, uh, we'd only get like 21, 28 days or a little bit longer because the battery is so small so battery life is really important you can also see on the on the transmitter itself it has a, a serial number for the, the uh, advanced telemetry folks that made this for us it has a date of manufacture and it has the frequency and so this is uh, going to be broadcasting on 164.803 um, that's just like if you turned your FM radio station to 101.2 FM, this is just a little higher on that frequency range. And this radio transmitter is a simple, uh, very high frequency or VHF transmitter. It's not a satellite transmitter. It's not a data logging GPS transmitter. It simply is built to broadcast a beep so that we can hone in on the signal and so the majority of this is taken up by the uh, battery itself now there's this interesting yellow tape on here and there's actually a little magnet and what I'm going to show you here in a second is there's a switch underneath this um, I'll go ahead and spoil the surprise now um, so here's the actual transmitter um, apparatus and there's a switch inside here that is activated with this uh, magnet um, being taken off it allows the switch to um, to to come together and to complete the circuit if we put the magnet back on it pulls that uh, circuit apart and makes a break in it and so it effectively turns off our transmitter so when we store these we store them with the battery on here uh, because that will uh, stop it from broadcasting for the period that we want and it will save the battery. And some people suggest putting them in the refrigerator to, uh, to slow that uh, battery loss even more when we're storing it. So you'll have a receiver. The one you may have in class may look a little bit different from the one here today that I have to show you. Uh, but we're going to turn this receiver on. The one you'll be using will be very similar and it will read out and you'll notice I've already punched in these coordinates. Um, I just simply do that by punching it in and pressing enter and there's my coordinates. Now we don't hear anything yet and that's good that means the magnet's doing its job and I'm just gonna set this here and maybe turn up the volume a little bit so you can hear it make sure you hear it and I'm gonna take the battery off the radio. Sometimes I flick those just to make sure that that uh, circuit is closed and is the effects of the magnet have been gone. Alright, 
So you can actually see in the LED, there's a flashing light here, and that, uh, and that tells us that it is uh, broadcasting. There's an antenna on top that we're going to connect our directional antenna to, and so this is what's receiving the signal right now. And later, we'll explain more about this uh, receiver, but um, this antenna of the radio is broadcasting, the, is transmitting that beep, and the antenna here on the receiver is receiving that signal. The other thing I just wanted to show you, as long as I've got the radio right here, is that I can change the frequency slightly. And that will change the pitch that you hear. Okay, so there's several, even though it, it comes from the factory with 803, you may hear it better on your receiver at a different number. Okay? So there are people, and this gets down to personal preference. But there are people that like this pitch, and there are people that like a little higher pitch. And that may have to do with our hearing, it may just have to do with our personal preferences. But um, you should know what your, uh, you can write down like, I would rather you know, hear this one at 164.802. So, uh, we'll look for it in the field at 164.803, I just wanted to see that difference. So that's a little bit about the transmitter that we're going to be seeking as we do our bearing exercise.